Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, let's just keep going. So, in the last few videos, we've been focusing on gameplay, right? And we created the movement component so we can move our character and all that. But today I thought we'd create the animation component because it's a pretty important part for a player to have animations and, and movement and all that. And the idea is that when we create a player, we're not going to force the texture on that player because a player is never going to have a special uh, texture, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to create an animation and then an animation component all right uh, but the only files we're going to create is the animation component so if we just add a new class here and we call it animation component okay base class nothing um whatever and then we create that there we go so now we have an animation component uh, did I spell it correctly? Animation component. Okay. So there you go. Pretty good. Um, and like I said, we're going to have two classes in these files. So we're going to have a class called animation and a class called animation component. All right. And it might be a little annoying or complicated to keep them in the same file. I understand that. Uh, if you want, you can create two different files. But what that lets me do is uh, I'll actually just be able to create animations um, within the animation component so because we're learning C++ as well as coding a game uh, we're kind of doing both that's why I want to show you this uh, if you're not really used to it because sometimes it might be good to create or create classes inside of classes so I'm just gonna close button and everything we do have to clean up button actually a little bit um, because yeah, we had we had a, a little issue with that, but we'll we'll handle that later. Just um, gonna try to remember that. But anyway, then we're gonna have a class called animation as a private member of um, of uh, a private member of. Actually, we'll just keep everything under public because it's a private member of animation component. So we can't create an animation object outside of the animation component okay I hope that makes sense so I'm just gonna create the appropriate stuff here um, we're just gonna do that okay okay cool so that's how this is gonna work so we're gonna have a class within a class and you can just minimize it if you don't want to see it and uh, that should be good and then we're gonna do this we're also gonna do if and Def. If wait, what the hell am I doing, dude? Are you serious? I can just copy paste this in here. Um, movement animation like that, and then and if And then we got the CPP file and we are good to go, good to go, good to go. Okay, so the idea is, the idea is that we're going to, uh, we are going to grab some stuff from movementcomponent.h. We're going to need map, probably not everything else, uh, just map and some of these things. So I'm going to put it in here. Again, we're going to we're going to do dynamic. I know what is it called? Compile pre-compile headers, so we uh, we don't get a lot of problems uh, re-including stuff. But we'll get to that soon, soon, soon. Let's go back into here. Let's see what else we need. Might not need these file stream. Blah blah blah. See time? Nah, nah, not really. Might need IO stream to test stuff if it bugs out. But we do need map because we're going to create a std map um, std string. Might need to include string here. Might not, but whatever. Uh, and then we're going to do a sf texture. And this is going to be the texture sheet. Okay. 
um, texture sheets or animation sheets I should call them animation what is it what is it wait let me see um, oh yeah by the way I did copy two sheets that I created using my own bot uh, licensed stuff um, so I'm gonna be using those animation if you have any other sheets you can use them I don't have a big texture you can you can do that if you want um, and we could create a, a system like that if just to just have one file but for now we're just gonna use these sheets just to show you how that works so uh, or we'll just call them texture sheets you know texture sheets whatever it doesn't really matter so then we're gonna be adding a bunch of textures to this with a name um, and Oh no, what am I doing? No, 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 that's not what I want to do. Animation, animations. Okay, there we go. So that's how we're going to do it. And then we're going to have functions in the animation class, which is going to be, for example, void play, void pause, uh, void reset, maybe something like that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what do we want to do? And then we're going to have a SF texture um, or a file name, actually SF texture reference texture sheet. Okay, we're just going to have a little reference here. And the animation itself is going to have variables um, like the texture sheet itself. Uh, so SF texture reference texture sheet. All right. Now I'm not 100% sure if you guys could just comment what you want to see. If you want to see the whole file, um, because we can create an animation component that can handle both. If you want to create several animations using uh, one sheet or several different files you just tell me all right and we can we can solve that but for now i'm just gonna just for like i said demonstration i'm gonna use different files um because it's nicer it's a little more structured like that mm, otherwise what we could do is just load a texture big texture sheet in here in the animation component itself and then create animations from that okay so we could do that uh, because what's happening now, I'm just going to have my sheets in the animation itself. Uh, and there you go. Because we'll be able to play those and all that. Mm. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now, 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 now. The way this works is, for example, if you have a texture. For those of you who haven't done animation before, this is a texture, alright? And there are a bunch of different mm, sprites in here. Which do different, like they're they're in sequence, right? So we are gonna start off at something called a float rect here. It's just a rectangle, telling me or telling the computer from where in this texture I wanna render. Because if I render the whole texture, obviously I'm gonna get all of these. I don't wanna do that. I just wanna get a little piece of it and then move on to the next piece, next piece, and do this really fast or at a speed I want. So I'll set the animation speed, and then it will just kind of move on, move on, move on like that. Okay, and yeah, that's basically what I want. So to do that, we're gonna need a float rect uh, thingy in here and also an animation speed. So I have the texture sheet. I'm gonna do a float animation or just call it speed, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then we're gonna say SF float or I think it's int rect, int rect. Um, Uh, just call it rect for now and then we have the animation I don't want to actually define these in here but I probably will anyway like this and I'm gonna set this no uh, texture sheet texture sheet okay like that um, start rect and we need an end rect so we need to know from where to where we're going um, and rect 
Okay. And we're going to define these. Start X. And um, X, I think. No, start Y. And then we're going to have a uh, texture width as well. So let's see if we do a float or an unsigned int width. Let's just call it width. So we're going to get start x, start y, and then the end x and y. Obviously, these are going to be integers because we have an int rect um, like that. I just want to shorten up the code because we don't want to create animations with this huge ass constructor, all that shit. So probably don't want to do that um boom okay there we go so now we have a start rect and rect okay so this start rect dot yeah here you go so here you got width and top left and right so here we go left equals we could just do this uh, equals sf int rect start x start y with height. Oh, we need width and height as well. Um, so width int height x y int width int height like this. This width equals width. This height equals height. Um, and width and height, just like that. And the end rect is going to be uh, so. Let's see if we're going to do the end rect or if we're just going to use the texture size to know when we're ending. We'll see. We'll, we'll do the end rect right now, uh, but then later. We'll just work with it and we'll see and why. So width and height. OK, there you go. So now we're we're getting somewhere. All right. And so now we got some basic stuff going. We're going to have to do the play before I leave you. I'm actually going to have to end the video here. I need a update function here with a const float reference to delta time uh, dt. Because we're going to be updating this um, this thing with the speed and the speed we set and all that stuff. So we've got texture sheet, also float speed, just like that. Let's use this, you know what? Speed, speed, width, width, uh, width, height, height. So we're just going to use this. It's nicer. I'm just going to remove that. This is a little more specific. That's why I'm using this. Um, so you go. Now we got the start and the end rect. We got the speed at, we want, at which we want to um, do this. So we got the delta time and everything. And the play basically is just going to enable. It's going to set which, which animation uh, we're on. Okay. I can pause it and I can reset it. Actually, we might not need play. Update will be enough. Um, and through the animation component, we can select which animation we want to update right now. Okay. So I hope you follow me on that. It was a little bit on the, you know, on the fly here thinking uh, because I've made these before. I'm just thinking that uh, what, what the best way would be. But please tell me in the comments uh, if you can, which type you want. You want it with one big file or with several small files? And we'll try to fix one of those first and then uh, properly. And then later on, I'll look into how to make it work for both. Uh, because I have done that before as well. But we'll, we'll figure it out together. Uh, so there you go. There you go. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Uh, check out the description box. And we'll continue working on this in the next video. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.